Alright, here is my first proper build for the Surge. The one before was a general one where I didn't know a lot of things still, but now I know how things work and this is the first proper build. It's a very OP build, probably the best one that you can have in the game. It's specific to Gorgon's set, but you can also apply some of the things for other armor sets as well, which I will also do specific builds for them as well. But let's start with this one. Oh, by the way, and tell me the feedback on the music. If you guys like more with music, I will put music in future. If you don't like with music, I will turn it off. It's just something that I wanted to try to see how it goes. This build focuses on having a lot of energy, a lot of stamina and a lot of health. Which means that you won't have any trouble with the game whatsoever. Everything here is recorded on New Game Plus. That's why the damage numbers are higher than usual, the damage that I receive and the damage that I do. But before we get started with the whole setup, I need to say a couple of things about the gear that you're wearing. Always upgrade your weapon when you're going into the next area. When you start seeing enemies dropping tungsten alloy that is higher than the ones that you were receiving in the area before, it means it's time for a weapon upgrade. Without a proper weapon, you won't stand much chance in this game, it's simple as it. As for the specific weapon, I can suggest that you use MG Centurion because I feel with this setup it's the best possible weapon. Clothes of Gestalt are awesome as well. Simply these kind of weapons will do much more impact than usual because of the arm pieces. Two arm pieces will give you plus 30% more impact. Well, we are now jumping on equipment section. Here you can see MG Gorgon headgear and that gives you energy consumption for your drone minus 50%. That means you will be able to spam anti-kinetic shield constantly and that will give you a lot of damage reduced. Very, very useful that will make you walking tank that just hits everything without a care in the world. Body gear will give you in general minus 5% stamina consumption, which is really, really good as well. Nah, minus 5% is not that fantastic, but it's good as long as it's something beneficial. As for the arm pieces, we already covered that, plus 15% on every arm gear, arm piece will make your weapons impact a lot higher. That's why I would suggest something faster. It will still have a huge impact. As for the legs, you gain no benefits at all. So let's now cover the implants. I went here with a setup for New Game Plus, which can be used for new game as well. You just need more core power and you will not need some of the things that I have here. My setup here is simple. I went with two endurance enhancers that will give me a lot of stamina. I went with three times vital boost that will give you a lot more health. Also, I went with four vital injections, which you don't need. You can go with three or maybe even two if you use med voltaic injection, which I will cover in a second. This is the core power one that gives you more power, which will enable you to wear Gorgon set, because Gorgon requires a lot of power. As for the energy setup, why we have so much energy and why it's so easy to use our drones and whatnot, it's because Voltaic Dynamo gives you energy gain plus 30% with every successful hit. Also, I went with Recapacitator that gives you minimum energy 30%. That means the energy will never be reduced below 30%, which means, in turn, that you will constantly be able to use your drone with anti-kinetic shield because of the low energy consumption that you have on your Gorgon headpiece. Now this is the one that I like the most if you have a lot of health. Aggression Amplifier version 2 gives you 20% health restored after every finishing move. Now for 400 health that I have it's 80 health for every finishing move. If you go with Med Voltaic Injection it will give you 100 health restored and that is for version 5. Version 5. You can go for this setup then you need a lot less vital injections. You can go for only two vital injections and 
for example, med voltaic injection. But why I prefer aggression amplifier with this is because of the huge help pool that I have and also because I don't need to switch between um, usable items in order for me to use med voltaic injection. This is much easier and it's better for lazy people like me. Also guys, you see that I have almost all of the things version 5. Don't sweat it, you'll get to that point. Just use version 3 combined or version 1 if you're at the beginning of the game. Don't panic, you'll get to it. You can also use more aggression amplifiers as well. But you need to know that you can't use finishers on non-human enemies. So you need to be aware of that. That's why injections are vital to every success in this game. With the huge stamina region that we have from this set, we are pretty much covered in every single way. You can see that also I put here energy decay minus 50% which reduces the energy uh, decaying rate when you're not using energy moves and whatnot. But these are completely optional. You don't have to go for sustaining array because you already have a lot of energy and you don't need this pneumatic calibrator that reduces stamina consumption when you're performing evasive moves. These are completely optional and it's more for a high-end new game plus or new game plus plus or something like that. This is the general overview of the build. Uh, ignore the damage, ignore the defense, because it depends on what mark you're at. What's important is the gear set bonus and what's important, stamina and energy. You can see that I have 150 energy percent energy gain, energy decay 50% and energy consumption 50%. So you can use constantly finishers, uh, you always have stamina to do whatever moves you want and you have a lot of ways to heal yourself up. That's it, you're covered. This is the setup that will make this game piece easy to anyone. That will be it, guys. Thank you for watching. If you have questions, please post in comments and I will try to answer to every single one of them. And that's it. Enjoy.